Well, the weatherman on the radio said today that it was supposed to be 35 out, but it sure feels a lot warmer than that. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. For those of you keeping track, we're in Canada. Uh, 35 times 9 fifths plus 32, that's 95. It is going to be a scorcher today on Eagle Lake. Um, it, was, <laughs> it was rough sleeping last night, it was so warm. So we got a, a late start, but we are going to go out. We found some muskies last night on some weed spots, so we're going to check those out. I'm sure we'll hit a mix of weed and rock spots today. We've got anywhere from 58 to 64 degree water temps depending on whether you're in the main basin of the lake or uh, back in one of the bays. So I, I don't know, it, it's been tough so far to, I'm used to seeing anywhere from 10 to 25 fish a day follows, that sort of thing. Luckily we've been getting fish to hit. We haven't had a ton of follows yet, so we're still, uh, you know, this is the start of uh, day three, so we're still trying to figure out a little bit of a pattern, figure out what these fish are doing. A lot of the fish have had spawn scars on them, even the ones that have followed in, you can see them. So I have a feeling a portion of our fish might still be in the spawn, but we've got plenty of them that are out of it, I'm hoping, and are ready to eat. So that's the ones we're gonna try to find, and let's see if we can get one of these beautiful Eagle Lake muskies in the net for you. All right, I'm going to start off the day throwing this Lee Lures Pelagic 8-inch, uh, yeah, 8-inch Pelagic Swim, there we go, uh, with my little dropper hook modification on it, see if we can get something to hit it. We got a couple muskies going on it last night, and I'm throwing it on a 9-foot Assault Stick 2020 Surgical Strike with 400 tranks. Jim's in the back throwing a killer corn on about the same setup, so that's what we're rocking right now. Let's see if we can catch something before it gets too hot today. Well, if the wind keeps up like this, we might have to be a super tramp and take the long way home. What's that? <laughs> up and then back. <laughs> Fish! Oh, it's a big pike. <laughs> wow. That was kind of neat. Put her on spot lock. Yeah, he's big enough. I think we'll try to find out just how big he is. Whew. All right. That was cool. Well, even the big ones do the old pike roll, don't they? All right, well, not exactly the species we're looking for, but a big pike is always a nice little bonus out here on Eagle Lake. Got to be in the upper 30s, I would think. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. That is a beautiful, yeah, a beautiful Eagle Lake pike. He's got to be 30 seven or so I would guess. Oh, look at that. That is a 40 inch pike. Wow. Wow, I wasn't thinking it was that big. That is so cool. Got on that Lee Lures Pelagic that was getting bit last night. So we're gonna get him back in. All right. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Nice and healthy. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to fish this morning. It's going to be really hot. The wind's kicking up, but uh, a big pike is a good way to start the day. We are going to take a little time out in the middle of this video to talk about what transpires next. So what you're going to see is a bad figure eight. 
So I wanted to talk about this so I don't get all sorts of comments about, oh, that was a terrible figure eight. We know. We have the video. We can watch it. In fact, that's one of the things I stress to people that would like to have a camera in their boat to capture all these cool moments is that you can also use that footage that you capture to see maybe what went wrong with a figure eight like we're going to talk about here. Jim has a really big fish come in. It's 50 inches plus. It, if it's not, it's 49 and 7 eighths. It's a big fish. Here's where the problem comes in. Jim is a 77 year old man. It's amazing that he's able to keep up. He fishes all day with me. It's fantastic. It's, it's awesome to see. He loves musky fishing. Now, the bad part is, is when we get waves like we were fishing in, balance isn't so good and he tends to get what I call musky fever. If anybody bow hunts or hunts in general, you know what I'm talking about. When that deer or that buck comes into range, you, you might not be able to even draw back the bow or, or squeeze the trigger. You just, you get caught up. And for someone who only fishes muskies maybe a week a year like Jim does, when you see a fish like that coming in, you tend to start reeling in faster. Your circles or your figure eights are maybe they get tighter and tighter and tighter just because of the excitement of what happens and that's exactly what happens to Jim. He saw that fish coming in, he gave it a little bit of heat, didn't slow it down enough to wait for that fish to come in and just got out in front of it. Now some guys out there might say oh you completely screwed it up. Sure. We talked about it, I was trying to coach him in the boat, that's another thing you can do is if you've got somebody in the boat with a little bit less experience try you know yell wider circles or out in front of them or do anything you can to try to coach that person without yelling at them or berating them it's it's hard to do sometimes as somebody that is a little bit more confident in the boat side maneuvers than maybe someone who is a little bit less experienced so i guess in all of that you know be kind in your comments you know we're, we're not professionals we're just i like making videos we screw up our figure eights sometimes so you know, I never say we're doing this perfectly. We're just out here capturing the moments that we're able to capture and having fun doing it. The other thing to take away from this is even though we didn't get that fish and even though, you know, the figure eight didn't get performed as it should be, we still got to see that fish. We still got to capture something. It's still something we can go back and look at and watch it, learn from it. It's just entertaining to see. So it's kind of funny that the poor fish is just confused because uh, the figure eight got so tight and so fast. It's you know, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to happen next. I'll stop yammering on here and we can watch it now. I mean, because it's been a long time, but that the back end of this really fills up with nice weeds. But it's just, it, it almost seems like it's too much sometimes. But maybe right now with them being lower, could be good. I guess we'll... Oh, nice fish, Jim. <gasps> big wide turns, big wide turns. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, get out in front of it, get out in front of it. Oh, shoot. I just said she couldn't turn on it good enough. Whew, that was a big one. I think she might have eaten it too. Yeah, I just couldn't get yeah. <laughs> down there enough to... There's a fish. Wasn't real interested, but peeled off on me. Came in a little low. Well, at least we're starting to see some stuff. All right, ladies and gents. Um, 
after an extended period of staying inside because it is blistering hot out. Um, we're back on the water. Gonna see if we can, uh, we're gonna try fishing some rocks. Uh, we know there's some fish in the weeds, so we're gonna check out some of the rock spots, see if we can locate some fish. If not, we've always got some weed spots to fall back on. So that's the plan for this afternoon. So let's see what we can do. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I just had one come up and take a swipe. Gosh darn it. Well, maybe not take a swipe, but he, he came up pretty, <laughs> pretty hot and heavy after it. Shoot. Uh, well, folks, this back here is what we call a problem uh, when we're fishing Eagle Lake. There's there's a lot of problems around us. <laughs> in fact, we got chased off earlier uh, by one of those problems. We've got storms coming in and some pretty bad ones. Unfortunately, it kicked us off the lake right when we were figuring out. We had a nice pattern going. We were seeing Ooh, fish. Whoa. Oh, boy. We better go. All right. Well, that's enough of me talking. We need to leave because it's very lightning-y behind me. <laughs> So, yeah, yep, yeah, we're going to leave. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next video.